It started in 2013. Me and my dogs lived in a van that we had. And then that broke down and we've just lived on the streets since then. When I got the sewage man, I was by myself. I was on the street for 30 years. Hard time, bad times. And you start wearing down where you don't trust nobody, you don't want nothing. You just give up. I had to find something because I knew something had to break. I just looked at the resources, found transition projects, and went there. When Doreen's place brought me here, I thought I was dreaming. I woke up in the morning and said, man, how'd I get here? When I first walked into the room, I had to hold back the tears because I was so excited about it. This place is amazing. I got my own bed, I got a shower, I got a bathtub, I got a mirror, and I can cook my own meals here. It's beautiful, man. When you walk into it, it's, um, it feels like home. I mean, this environment helps me move up in the world. <laughs> if you get housing where you can sleep at night and get perfect rest, you want to change the way you live. You want to walk around and find you a job. It's just a really nice community that I've seen. It gives you a better feeling about yourself. That's what people need. Now I got a roof over my head. My rent's paid on time. I do what I'm supposed to be doing, and now I'm living. 30 years ago, I couldn't say none of this. I didn't have the heart. I didn't trust nobody. Our girl gardens is like heaven to me because it gives you a chance to become somebody again. You can't do it by yourself. Because without you guys, this place wouldn't exist. There's a lot of people out there that are like me and need just a foot in the door to get somewhere. I'm really fortunate to have gotten that chance because that's what helped me. And I don't know where I'd be today if yeah, I didn't have that help to do so.